Uh, you can start recording now. Yes, I'm recording. Yeah. Hmm. So Elizabeth, I unmuted you. So. Okay, thanks. Hi everyone. Yeah, I don't really have a question. I was very impressed by the documentary. Um, because I didn't know what the, I just watched the documentary because I'm a big fan of Eddie. So everything about Eddie I watch and then it suddenly went to P, uh, talks about peace and about uh, her, her thoughts, how it infects or uh, uh, affects uh, still uh, now that it's so uh, universal what she says but also timeless so I was really impressed and I cried a lot to be honest uh, cried because of the hope and also how courageous you two were are so that it's just my impression my feedback yeah I don't really have a question I was just uh, amazed by the uh, the effect of her words until now so, and also how you change your attitude, as you said, I didn't want to do, uh, want to do anything uh, with the Holocaust, but then I started to read Etty, and that, then my whole attitude changed. That's her, that was a kind of parallel thing, because she also changed during a very hard time. So it's also, I think it's beautiful, yeah. Thank you. It's very touching to hear. Mm. I'm also well, cu curious to hear more like if this um, way how we use uh, quotes from Etty, just taking a short quote, if it's something that appeals to you or if it's something that you can yeah, connect with. Uh, what is your question? Because I couldn't understand it. Did I quote something about what my, what I... We, we created the Etty Hillesum cards. Yeah, so yeah. Short quotes by Etty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And as a lover of Etty, can you connect to it? That you can take yeah. a, that there are quotes which are your favorites yeah. or your... Uh, mm -hmm. My favorite is that she walks outside and that uh, first they take the, her privileges, then they take her rights, and then she says, but I cannot take away my freedom. I can still look at the sky. They cannot take that away from me, but also uh, the part that she's in the concentration camp and that there's a very angry man and that she still sees him as a human being and that she doesn't want to uh, see him as a kind of object like they do with all the people who are not objects. They objective, they make them objects instead of subjects. So. I think that's beautiful. She changed while well, she had a very difficult time. She became a very loving person. She became more loving when when the whole situation became worse and worse. So, yeah. But there are a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So I cannot really quote by heart, <laughs> just Explaining in general what kind of thoughts my um, uh, what kind of thoughts impress me. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Mahmoud. Great to see you back. Hello, Manya. We we cannot hear you yet. Everybody is now muted. It works now. The Zoom is better working, and we are starting to have people coming back to join us and share their impression. So whoever wants to share, you can have in the chat, there is a possibility to raise your hand and then we can unmute you. So share with us what touched you, what questions you have, whatever you wanna share. Manya, you want to, you wanna share? I, I will just, just a minute, I will un unmute you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I love the movie and uh, especially uh, I loved it to see how Etty uh, 
inspired you both to do the work you do and uh, I was very moved by your project uh, and I'm sure Etty would be very happy to see it. <laughs> hmm. I so so uh, I, I think uh, Etty uh, somewhere writes um, uh, that she wants to live uh, long and if it is not uh, allowed uh, to her then she hopes that other people will do the things she uh, is doing and I think you are doing it. And you too. <laughs> I tried, but you are a new generation for in from my uh, view. Uh, you uh, and uh, it is important uh, that uh, you, uh, with younger people and on another place in the world, um, uh, you do this work. So go on, Mania. Can I ask you something? Yes. Like. I, I wrote you also by email that it really touched me how you spoke about how Eddie Illesum was engaged in life. And yeah. maybe you can see it, say something more about it. What does it mean for you to be engaged in life? In life, for me, for me, for me personally, you mean? Yeah, or for Eddie, like what, like it's a strong statement, yeah? Strong statement. Uh, well, I took your cards. Um, uh, well, what I just said, one of, of the quotes is, uh, I'm, uh, uh, she writes, I must try to live a good and faithful life to my last breath, so that those who come after me do not have to start all over again, need not face the same difficulties. Isn't that doing something for future generations? And I think we should take that and uh, bring it further. And I try and you try and, it's hard, uh, people don't learn very easily and we still have a lot of uh, war and, and struggle, but we have to go on. With life. It's so, so important to live life the, with the good things in life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't hear you. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Okay. Man. Okay. Yes. You're welcome. Yeah. Shamba. Yeah. We have a message here from Anderson. He's with us. Hi, Anderson from Colombia. Anderson is one of the people who has been uh, following our project. Uh, and he's a lover of AT Hillism and he wrote his feedback and I would like to read it on chat. Um, the reason why he doesn't want to speak because of uh, what he says is because of his English. So I would like to read it. Is it okay? Or everybody can read it. I please, don't read it please read it loud. Yeah. Ah, okay. Dears Emma and Dina. Hello, everyone. I prefer to write because my English is not so good. First of all, I want to thank the people who made this video possible. It is incredible, precious, it is made with the heart. Secondly, I want to say that I'm amazed at the power of A.T. Hillison's thoughts. Her words break boundaries and unite all human beings. Walking with A.T. Hillison is an experience that transforms life. The documentary is beautiful, above all because she remembers that the most important thing for this young Dutch woman was to discover the wealth of the human being. This is what we find in each A.T. Hillison quote, a message, a wealth, a treasure, an enigma, a mystical message. Here in Colombia, we have lived for more than 50 years a terrible war. There are many deaths, many wounds in all the town, and much despair and disbelief. When I first um, read A.T. in 2015, I felt that she was a bomb from my country. Respond with love and brotherhood to violence, love life, despite everything, believe in the beauty of the world and in God, despite everything. Thank you, Anderson. 
maybe I can share a word with Anderson to say that in 2011, I went to a pilgrimage, a peace pilgrimage to Colombia uh, together with my friends from Tamara. And we went to the peace community, San Jose de Apartador in Colombia to join the peace workers who tried to find a, a pacifist and a different voice in the, in the war situation over there. And I'll be happy to share with you more about it. Actually, there is a beautiful documentary about it called Hope for Colombia. Um, so yeah, thank you for keeping the hope also in this kind of situation you're in, in Colombia. And I see more people join us back from watching the video. So I invite you to share your impressions or if you have questions for Dina and me. Also, Manya is here from us. So, welcome. You can raise your hand uh, in the video or in the chat and then we can unmute you. I see Rona wants to share and Anina. Okay, so just a moment, technology. Anina, you're unmuted. Hello. Both of you and all of us. I've been inspired by Eti Hillesum for many, many years. But watching the movie now has, has shaken me up in a way that I had not felt before. So I, first of all, I'm grateful for the cards. I'm going to get them this time. <laughs> and, and the inspiration in holding everything that she says, I would say especially the last card, but it's especially everything. For all of us, I mean, in all situations, I'm going through a really hard day as an example of the personal level. So I already told myself that I could do something to use this so that I can come back to what I really do and want to continue doing in the world. So really, really thank you for, for bringing this. I don't know who made the movie. I'll find out later how it happened. Such a gift. And both of you alone, I mean, separate and together, this is, thank you so, so, so much for doing this. I mean, it, I hope it gets, I, I mean, I would hope it gets to everybody as a message of nonviolence, a very deep nonviolence message. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we also join the gratitude for the people who made the documentary with so much beauty and attention and care. Yeah. So uh, I'll un unmute um, just a minute. The easiest for me will be uh, if people who, are, who want to join to join the conversation, uh, raise their hand in the chat, there is a possibility, then I can easily find you. So, um, David, I unmuted you. Can you hear me? Um, I think your question to Elizabeth was the wrong question, how we use the quotes what you've done and the movie have created such a vast opportunity to go inside ourselves and to use the quotes as inspiration for action in our world that the question is really a small question that you asked emma um, I'm sitting here in Hermosa Beach, California, in the United States. I don't know if people around the world are listening. And I'm actually trembling. I was in Birkenau last year, and the most intense experience I had was the evening in our retreat at night outside of Birkenau in a in the quarantine barracks 
where Eddie's quotes were read in three different languages to us sitting in the dark, some, some artificial candles. And we were sitting on the ground and my body became very hard to be with. I was shaking. I mean, violently shaking, and I didn't know where it came from. And my point in sharing that is that, uh, well, what I realized was that I got in touch with something that I found out was called Camp Terror, the terror of the prisoners. That was important for me to touch because both my parents were Auschwitz prisoners and survivors. And they had never allowed me to know about their experience. They hid that from me and from our family. I can't exclude hearing the Eddie Hillison's quotes from that experience. That was part of sitting there. And for me to be able to touch that pain inside of myself, I know is a blessing. I don't know how that will manifest, but I do know that that's something I will cherish, even though it's hard, I will cherish it. So that's how I used, or how I experienced, I mean, I didn't really use it, how I experienced Eddie's quotes and her experience. Thank you for letting me share that. Thank you so much. Oh, one other thing. Um, how you both used Eddie's Holocaust experience to sit in circles in the world we live in now that's got so much uh, difficulty in sitting together of different cultures that that is it touches me in a very deep way uh, and, and uh, um, I was scheduled to go to Israel and Palestine in um, May. And that was canceled at, in a, in a uh, Zen Peacemaker uh, retreat. And that was canceled because of the virus. So watching your movie allowed me to kind of feel like I stepped into that, you know, that I could do my peace, my peace step. So thank you for that as well. Thank you so much, David. We shared in the end of the movie that we had no idea where the cards would reach and how they would, how deep it will, could touch people. We could only, yeah, share what touched, touched us. And yeah, it's very touching to hear how it influenced you in the concentration camp with your history, with your yeah, upbringing. So thank you so much for sharing it. So I see that there are more people who raise their hands. Just a minute. Mm. So, Edna. Hello. It's actually Edna and Zev. Um, 
Um, and I, I actually, well, maybe we'll, we'll both say something, but um, I just really wanted, I, I know both of you, Dina and uh, Dina, I know more, but uh, getting to know you, Emma, and um, this uh, movie, really, it, it's such an amazing gift. That's the first thing I wanted to say. Because even though I know and I've heard the stories and I have the cards, this added a whole new layer upon layer upon layer. And I, and I think it's so important to, to see this. And wow, I was just so moved and touched and cried. And, um, and one of the things that, that was really strong for me is that you two are the continuation of Etty. And she's very much alive because of that. And, um, and I just think it's um, an amazing thing that all because this woman, not only who she was, but I, I thought about it, she, she wrote it down. Wouldn't be here if she didn't sit and write it. And living with a writer and knowing Dina writes, and now for the first time, seeing that you're a poet, <laughs> it was, and it was a beautiful poem. Um, and I, I just realized the power of writing too. So it was really just to say thank you to, to what you're, you're doing. And this movie is just a continuation of what you're putting out in the world. And it's a continuation of what Etty put into the world. So thank you. I'll just add that um, it, during our peace work, uh, we met Dina and Hannah and their children, Nur and Zena, and it's been such an inspiration and hopefully also get to know you better, Emma, but, but it's been so, so inspiring. Um, and I also have to say that reading those cards, I realized how much more work I have to do, my inner work and my work with my criticism and, and with my, uh, like Dina said in the movie, there is war in us. Still a lot of work to do, but thank you. You are an inspiration on this path of work. I want to add one more thing too, before we run off. That, that, that just reminded me that Dina, what you said in the movie really touched me that you brought this huge thing of conflicts between people and what Etty was saying to, to something so basic about how you treat your children and how it's the small, so supposedly small things that we can have such um, an impact on. And it's so important that it's, it's just the way we are every day with everybody we come in contact with. Thank you. Thanks. Somebody's insisting that I have to say something. <laughs> and I feel very touched. Um, um, You know, I um, I agree with you. This uh, power of writing, and actually, when we were um, in Holland, when uh, we 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 understood somehow part of the story, when Etty knew that when she goes to Westerbork, she will not be able to come back again. I feel somehow this uh, strong inner voice uh, knew. Um, that something ha will be done with the diary. So she asked her friend to uh, keep them and to give them to Klaus uh, Smelik, who kept them for 40 years and then later were published. So I find this uh, power of the inner, uh, uh, the intuition that she had, that she developed with time. And um, regarding what you said, Edna, I feel when we speak about uh, peace work, or inner peace, it's, um, it's constantly a process. Yeah, like even with Etty, when you read her, it's not like she figured it out, and uh, Emma also speaks about this in the movie. You can see the, the waves, and I, and I think this is um, 
This is very powerful because we are human beings and you have doubts sometimes. You get into the moment of being frustrated and angry and you have the judgments, yeah? Um, so, uh, yeah, maybe I, it's not that I figured it out, how to have this uh, inner peace. <laughs> because uh, it's a challenge and, uh, and uh, sometimes the kids, <laughs> speaking about children, they trigger it <laughs> as close as possible and the partner <laughs> before <laughs> whatever you want to call it, uh, the so-called enemy or the outside. Also, David, you asked, you brought a question about how do we do it in the uh, Holocaust uh, Memorial Day, how we bring the cards. And uh, what we try to do uh, every year where we bring a topic that uh, uh, is connected, like this year, for example, we spoke about inner freedom and difficult times, using A.T. Hillestrom as an inspiration. And we had around uh, 200 people who, who joined us. It was for the first time on Zoom from different places, yeah? like we had from Palestine, Israel, Colombia, Rwanda, um, Holland, uh, Portugal, and um, I feel many times, although we're speaking about a specific trauma, but it's when you speak about trauma, it's very global. Yeah, it's um, like what uh, now Anderson spoke about uh, the war in Colombia and how it touches him. So somehow it transcends cultures because it's very human. It's very um, it can speak to you on the personal level and to the nation level. Uh, beyond the identity, beyond um, the difficult time, like right? um, so, it's an inspiration for any time that is difficult time yeah, or war. Um, and because we have the cards, like it's uh, short sentences, and it's very easy to connect. So you find a lot of magic sometimes coming up. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> في أكثر من حد هاي أنا رفعت إنه أنت بدك تحكي. لانا you can speak now. لانا. Oh. Uh, this is this is uh, Dina's father. Ah. Uh, I would like to uh, just make a, a short comment. Uh, I do have a lot of sympathy for what happened. Uh, in 19, prior to the 1946 in Germany, and uh, these Holocaust, uh, the people who lost their lives in the Holocaust, after all, they, they are humans. And I repeat, they are humans. And uh, that should not have happened at all. And after the first, the Second World War was over, there was 100,000 survivors in these concentration camps. And it was depicted in a book titled Harry Truman and the Foundation of Israel that they lived in miserable situations. And these concentration camps were under the administration of the American army at that time. And from that book depicted that the American army did nothing at all to improve the living conditions of these people, the miserable condition. And they have said, sent uh, a committee of inquiry to look at it. And there was suggestions about having their original countries to absorb them. And unfortunately, the original, their original countries. They refused their nationals, the Jewish nationals, the poor Jewish nationals who were held by the Nazis, living in these miserable conditions. They were uh, refused to go back to their own countries, but their by their own governments. Now that made me uh, very sad, and I sympathized with them when I read the book. And uh, now, uh, a month ago, April, April 1948, 
there were a lot of miseries here happened in Palestine, like the Battle of Al Kastal, like the Deryasin massacre, and and unfortunately. Uh, there was a lot of injustice inflicted upon us. Even Israeli historians like Ilan Pape has recorded this in his book, Ethnic Cleansing of Palestine and the Making of the Palestinian Refugee Problem. <coughs> and of course, other gentlemen like Mr. Avi Schlein, who wrote the politics for the partitioning of Palestine. Now, let's put all that behind us and let's look forward. All of these last 72 years, it was just violence and counterparts. Now, it is time for us to sit together and to reason. This land is big enough for two people. And I hope that even if it is one state solution or two state solution, but something has to happen. This position of no war, no peace, it's not good for both people, even for the Israeli people. And I met one time an American Jew in Baghdad who was the head of the company I was working for. And he told me that the American Jewish community is very worried about the state of Israel. And they need to help the state of Israel. They need to help the Palestinians. And the Jewish community met with our president, Mr. Abbas, and twice. And they asked him several questions and he answered it. And they told him at the end of the meetings, we now have a different perspective about how to make peace in the Middle East. Now, I do hope that Mr. Netanyahu and his government will really look at us, the Palestinian Authority, as partners, because we are here on the land. We cannot be ignored. Um, and I hope that good people like your good selves, who vote for the government, who go to the election polls, would promote a peaceful solution to end all of these, uh, this 72 year old conflict. Uh, I wish you luck in your endeavors and thank you all for this uh, informative movie. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, and you can be so proud at your daughter. Thank you for bringing her to life. And we move to Janelle. Greetings, everyone, um, and and hello to uh, to George. <laughs> it's good to see you, George. Um, so I am uh, sitting here in uh, Rwanda, actually, and became very familiar with um, uh, Dina's process of, of peace building, having lived in, in her home in, 10 years ago now. Um, but my, my first remarks, I want to, I want to say that so many parts of the movie have me feeling very, um, I, almost, I almost want to say heavy, but it's an it's an, it's a important kind of heaviness. It's because it is um, a heaviness where I'm carrying something. Um, and I have to figure out what I'm carrying because I'm, uh, I'm actually not a large part of the story of um, uh, the Holocaust or Israel-Palestine. I'm, I'm from the United States and the history of my family resides on both sides of World War II. Um, but growing up, I was so invested in trying to understand why anti-Semitism um, existed in the world. Even though I'm Christian, I was very concerned about this. 
And that led me into a lot of studies that brought me to Israel and Palestine and then to understand um, xenophobia coming from the United States and, and everything began to spiral for me about peacekeeping and, and what it means to connect to all of these dots. And that's, that's what amazes me is, is that you all are connecting very important dots. Because if we just take Eddie's words and believe there's something beautiful, but are a relic from the past, then we lose, we lose that, um, the power of the words themselves to affect our lives today. And so I wanna say thank you um, uh, to Shamba and to Dina, to everyone who was a part of this, um, uh, I'll, I won't even say the movie, it's, it's a continued process that you're a part of. Um, because for me, it, it forces me to continue looking at my own process. And uh, I don't know who you were talking to, Shamba, but I think one of the other members of the Zen Peace Building um, when you were in Westerbork, but she was saying, I don't know whether I'm, um, you know, if I would have been a person pushing someone onto the train or if I was being pushed onto the train. And as a young um, white woman from the United States in a world where the United States is affecting a lot of places and even internally, we have so many conflicts. Um, and just because of who I was born to be, I am given a lot of power in that place. Um, I'm forced to keep looking at how I'm participating in either the perpetuation of violence or the, the power of, of peace. And so I wanna say thank you to you both um, because I find such great, uh, um, such great energy and inspiration to keep doing that work. Not only, uh, not only as the United States relates to the world, especially our policies of supporting um, different conflicts around the world, but also internally the racism, the xenophobia, the, all of the isms of the United States. Um, I, I'm grateful to have known Dina at the beginning of her, of her process, and I've always looked to you, Dina, as a mentor. Um, and so I just, I keep processing and I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to continue processing with you all. So thank you for all of your work. And I, I feel heavy because I, I hope I am carrying the weight of this work with you. Thank you both. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I unmuted Amita. Hi. So it's, I think it's, it's a beautiful film. I, it was so well done and brings the, the whole thing. It was, there's nothing that needs to be changed. And just, I want to say to the two of you that you're the perfect people, clearly, because you did it. You two are the ones who have brought Eddie to life. You, she's living in you because of each of your personal journeys and and your relationship and the way that you you it's so clear from knowing you and being at the the gathering every year, but also in the film that it's you know the personal and the political are uh, like a. For someone to bring Eddie forth, you have to be doing the work that you're both doing. It's not going to work to just say, oh, read Eddie's book. You are living Eddie. And so that's why it's so powerful and, and so inspiring. And, you know, so like, thank you for your faith because okay, she had the faith 40 years it, it took before, but also you have been in a process for a long time with these cards. It's like you've had the faith in yourselves that you have some, you need to share Eddie. And I'm thinking, I want to, I don't know if I'm worthy. I, I want to, I mean, among other things, I happen to be a rabbi, although I'm not mostly doing that, but I want to tell 
somehow be able to communicate to my rabbinical association, this needs to be at every, everyone's Yom HaShoah, like bring Eddie. Like I want, and I don't know if I can be the messenger because I don't know if I am wor worthy of bearing the mess message, you know, like I have to believe that I can continue the spreading. And, and I'm thinking, Eddie, Eddie, these cards can be brought into every prison. You know, imagine every prison in the world, prisoners can be inspired by Eti. I mean, everyone, like we all. So anyway, just thank you. And I'm gonna see how, I'm gonna keep doing my own work and hopefully be able to help you to spread her word, spread her essence. Thank you so much. Mm. And I'm being touched, so I will not add words, but um, if um, somebody has questions also to us, then we're also willing to try to answer questions. But thank you so much for your feedback. It's very touching. And I am unmuting Michal. Thank you, Emma. But I see Hagit is raising her hand in by finger. She she was before me. She okay. might not know how to raise her hand dig digitally. So I I want you to unmute her first. I will. Um, I will. Yes, and later I will. Yeah. Hagit, we are you are with us. <laughs> Thank you, Michal. <laughs> and yes, another thing that I need to know about technology since this virus. Um, I am very inspired. I join everything that was said here. I'm inspired, I'm touched, I'm moved, and I really want to take it forward. I, I, I wanted to um, share with you that I'm involved now in a new initiative, how to bring nonviolent communication or nonviolence into politics. And the more I think about it, the more I realize that what I really want to bring into people who want to change the world is this, this aspect of spiritual looking at what peace means. And I uh, call upon you, each one of you, who, if you are interested in um, joining such a uh, initiative, think together, uh, bring your wisdom into it. In order to bring more of this approach of Eti's uh, wisdom, of Eti's um, deep understanding what peace means, if you are interested in, uh, to join, please be in touch with me. Or you may be in touch with Emma and, and uh, and Dina, and they will, and of course, I would like to buy the cards. It's about time that I have them. So please tell us how we do it. Uh, that's what I wanted to share with you and to invite you. And I'm so happy to see so many friends and acquaintances and people, colleagues from years ago. So happy to, to be, around you, around Eti. Thank you very much. So thank you, Hagit. And Dina just shared the link to our website where you can order the cards. This is the easiest question one can ask. So I will unmute Michal, just a minute. Thank you. So, First of all, my deep appreciation to both of you, both of you and dear friends uh, for a long path for many years, uh, more and less, but the two of you. So I'm of course very touched. I want to, I'm, I'm, I feel humbleness in front of your um, devotion actually to the work. To the, to the inner work that was mentioned uh, before by Amita and, and others, and, and 
the devotion to bring it out with everything that it takes. And I know that it takes a lot, a lot, a lot from, from an individual, from the private personal lives. Uh, so I appreciate that. Um, and I'm, I, of course, I feel deep connection to the, to the work with Etty, being part of the annual ceremonies from, from the beginning for many years, as many people here are part of it as in different ways and supporting it. Um, and I feel connection also for the, for the work that we actually, you too being an Israel, Jewish Israeli and a Palestinian, there is something so strong, yeah, when you work with this uh, spiritual material of Eti, even just the, this connection, the symbols are so strong. So I, I feel that by this, we really bringing into reality the, the this, tra this tragic and the fatal triangle of German Jews, Palestinians. And you are doing in your work such a deep healing by, by bringing these things together. Because, you know, Dina, when your father's, when your father talked, I felt, I felt so um, uh, close to his heart. I felt his heart behind his, you know, uh, speech and uh, words because he brought for me the the Palestinian pain and uh, and the the um, the ordinary reactions that we all live in. I mean, Israelis and Palestinians are that we we all are post -trau post trauma traumatized and we are used to act out of this trauma so in in a very simplified way one can say that the state of israel was was born out of the trauma of the antisemitism and the holocaust and the, and and from that trauma and pain we are we jews are not open for the pain of the palestinians that was caused by our our actions and on the other hand, the Palestinians in general, the, the ordinary reaction is to be closed and not open to the story and pain of the Jews because as you, Dina, explained in the movie and you know, because they are traumatized by that. So there is no tolerance, there is no empathy to each other. And when you are doing this work, you bring, you invite us to the place to step out of the ordinary uh, states of minds and to, 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 to come higher. And I also see that all this is so much NVC. Yeah, Chagit is sitting here, Amina is sitting here. So I also see here many people from many fields of, of doing and I feel that we are all working to this one direction which is maybe healing the world. So, Hagit, I join your uh, initiative. I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yes, and again, thank you deeply. Thanks to you, Dina and Emma. Thank you. So, Ruthie, I am you. Hi, I'm just putting on some light. So I want to say that um, also I, I think the work you're doing is so important and I salute you for it and I love the cards. I bought them as soon as they came out and I love them and I've been to the Holocaust Day ceremony uh, both live and on Zoom and it's moved me very deeply and I had a lot of issues with the movie. And I had a lot of issues with the movie. Okay, so I want, and I felt like I had to voice it. Um, the movie was beautiful. And I, I have a big problem with what's going on between Israel and Palestine being paralleled with the Holocaust, which not overtly but covertly was done in the movie. And I don't think that the Holocaust is the direct cause 
of the occupation. I think there's a whole chain of things that led to it. And, and so I almost personally took offense at that statement that the Holocaust was the direct um, cause of the occupation. So I hope you'll understand what I'm saying in the spirit that I'm saying it because I appreciate endlessly the work that you're doing, really. And, um, but I needed to say that. I felt the whole time that I was watching the movie that I was upset by it. And um, I mean, I was upset by it also because there's a lot to be upset about in the movie, but, but also because of those parallels. And um, anyhow, I needed to put my input into this discussion. Lucy, do you want to bring it as a question or do you just want to bring it as your reflection? Um, I think I just want to bring it as my reflection. And I also want to say thank you for the work that you're doing because I think it's important. And I learned about Eddie Hilsom through you. And, uh, you know, I went to the ceremony many years ago when you had little paper cards and I still have the little paper card that I got like right next to my Shabbat candles that I light every Friday and um, so what I'm saying about the movie doesn't negate the importance of what you're doing and my real appreciation of you for doing it but I needed to state what I felt about the movie thank you thank you I, I want to, I, I'm still moved because NBC was mentioned and Hagit is here, as we said, and all, everything. I really want to let people know, especially people who don't know yet or haven't heard of NBC, which is nonviolent communication, that there is a global conference in two weeks taking place online. So I will put the, the link to the event in the, in the chat and please read about it. And if you moved, to do it, join. This is, this is for me, the path that can bring Etty's work into fruition in another way. So I'm gonna put it in the chat. Thank you for that. Um, Shamba? I, I'm, I'm muted. I'm just looking for if anybody else wants to share still um, reflection, you can raise your hand. I see uh, Khatye wants to. Okay. Thank you. Um, I was, I was moved, moved by the movie. I was moved by the guy who was saying in uh, his reflection on the cards of uh, Etty, that it seemed as if there was a path that is waiting to be seen and uh, to be walked. And, um, and it was also uh, you, what you were saying about uh, that it needs, uh, how, can, how to connect the inner world with the outer world and that it's so, um, the experience I have with that is that I need a strong inner world to be able at all to uh, go that path. Because um, if I don't have inner strength, I'm not able to make the choices. And I'm still in the process of um, I'm hitting, somebody's hitting me, I'm hitting, other person is hitting me back again. So I need at least some inner strength to get out of that process. And when you try to get out of that process, even with my, my parents, with my brothers and sisters, with my friends, with my partners, with all the, the painful things in my system, they're so deep. And to be able to confront those pains 
and that loneliness, we need each other. I mean, we need um, other women. Where, I mean, we need each other to be able to go that path. And with the cards of Etty and your example of being Palestine and Israel, that only that way we, that, that's how I experience it, you, you are able to walk that path because that inner path is, 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 is uh, difficult and, and, the, and the, the roots are very deep because they're coming from our ancestors and they hadn't had the opportunity to change it. And now we, I get the opportunity to make that change, but to be able to make that change that is difficult. And then it's life when you organize those uh, encounters with each other to speak about it between women or only men together or men and women together because we all are we all have been children we all are sisters or brothers and we have parents and yeah and we all need that that safetyness and the protection and I always thought that sex was love and love sex still I had the opportunity to experience unconditional love and from that moment I had a new direction because that was the direction I wanted to go and that's for that reason it's so nice that we can meet because yeah together with the help of the card of Etty Thank you. Maybe to say also that you were with us in Westerbrook in the Zen Peacemakers Retreat. No, I was with you at uh, Tamira in the introduction ah. last year, and I did a horse course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, Yael, you will be, I think, the last one to share. I am. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, hello. Um, I, I just want to say I'm so, so moved and touched by these cards. Um, I, was, I think I was at that meeting when I first saw the little notes that you shared that before it became cards, it were just pieces of paper in, in the circle uh, in Neve uh, Shalom, I think it was. And, and for me, um, for a person who just recently understood that she's a little bit uh, ADD, and it's so hard for me to read like a whole book in one, you know, go. I'm really grateful for these cards and I think they bring so many qualities. You know, the fact that you can read just a little, you read a paragraph and you can breathe it in and you can take it in and you can take your time to understand it and you don't have to kind of separate all the words on the page to find the essence, that's one thing. And another aspect that I love about it is the actual work that you do in workshops where it, 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 it incorporates movement, it incorporates uh, reflection and, and meditation and speaking and reading. I mean, all the senses are involved and it allows something to be embodied that's different than just reading a book. You know, reading a book is important, but the actual uh, activity of, of using it in such a way helps to kind of, from my point of view, it helps to kind of imprint it more into a person's um, being. And um, yeah, and I think it's just uh, beautiful and I'm so inspired and grateful. And um, so that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. I, I see Mahmoud raises in his hand. So I'm really curious to hear his feedback. So this will be the last one. Uh, hello. Um, I would also share my uh, uh, gratitude for uh, Emma and and Dina for their beautiful work. And uh, what I want to, for me, is like reading the cards, 
was so beautiful to read it in three languages. It's like I, I speak the three languages. And uh, read it in English. I understand reading in English, but then I understand it reading in Hebrew. And it's like my mother language is Arabic. And I, I want to share that like in every language, I understand it in a deeper level in different way. So it's like, it's so beautiful to have it in these three languages. And I think also having it in these languages, it's bringing also a higher level. It's like also, especially I think uh, bringing Arabic in this circle is uh, bringing like a side of healing or starting of healing. Or it's like I also I heard what Michal Talia she said about it. And I share the same feeling that's like, it's like bringing empathy from also the, from the art start reading this uh, is, 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 and bringing the language uh, that they're sharing this, it's bringing a place of peace, a place of healing. So I really appreciate uh, your work and uh, bringing this in uh, this beautiful, that you read it in card, but I, I really like that it's uh, including all the three languages which is bringing also a higher level of team for all the sites. Thank you. Thank you. And Dina, you wanna share last words and maybe we also should end with a quote from Etty from our cards. Uh, sure. I see someone wrote uh, this movie. Uh, we will share the, uh, the link uh, on our Facebook. And now, just um, <clears throat> you want me to read this quote, or you want to read it, Shamba? Or you can read it in the three languages. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I read it in Arabic first. هو كتاب أستمر بقراءته وإعادة قراءته والعودة إليه إنه دائما يحتوي الكلمات نفسها ولكنني أتعلم أن أقرأ أكثر وأكثر بين السطور أقرأه باستمرار وبإخلاص أكثر من أي كتاب آخر قرأته ويت بيزا <laughs> there is chats coming up. Uh huh. Um, I will read in English and then later Hebrew, or what do you want, Shamba? I can read the Hebrew and then again you'll read the English. Okay. Husefer Shani Hoseret Vekoret Bo Kolasman. Hazor Vekoro. הוא תמיד מכיל את אותן המילים, אבל אני לומדת לקרוא יותר ויותר בין השורות. אני קוראת בו ברציפות ובנאמנות, יותר מכל ספר אחר שקראתי אי פעם. I read him more constantly and faithfully than I have ever, I have read any book. So this is, uh, I feel, uh, this is again, again, the relation with uh, AT to, um, like when I first read her, when I was 27 years old, and then um, throughout holding the rituals to go back to the book, and then finally reading the full version and choosing the quotes, Every time it's a new discovery, it's a new uh, insight. And even when we held the Holocaust Memorial Day on the 20th of April, and I was reading one of her letters, I was like, ah, wow. I, like, uh, I, I learned again. <laughs> and um, I want to um, share something important that, um, you know, doing this work, 
for me, it's not about finding people to agree with me or disagree with me. I feel my task, and I feel also the same what uh, the task of AT is um, to trigger the question in others, who am I? Why am I in this world? What is my um, mission? What is my responsibility? Uh, what is my task? What is my dream? And if I trigger that, I think this, I already did it, yeah? Um, because I feel like with, with my work, it brought a lot of deep discussions in my family, for example, and with my friends after going to Westerbork. And it opens up a lot of things. And, and I like it because, um, yeah, it's not about uh, putting into those boxes of right and wrong. I mean, this is the issue of the conflict now, yeah? Like, who's right, who's wrong? Uh, who is suffering more? Who is doing what to the other? Um, I feel to, and, and I think this is what AT succeeded to do, to step out of um, seeing whom to blame and finding her own responsibility towards choosing her reaction and choosing what is now important to do for her, what she feels this is her um, stamp or uh, footprint or fingerprint in the world. And I think uh, it's continuing until now. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for everybody. We want to be faithful for the also time limit. So we said we'll end at uh, eight o'clock. Now it's um, a bit after eight o'clock, six minutes after eight. So we are very curious to hear your feedback and your questions. So you have the Facebook event where you can still write us and um, uh, at the Hillesum Cards website, at the Hillesum Cards dot com. That's where you can also have our emails and you can buy the cards and we will also put the, mo the link to the movie in there so you can also um, find it easily there and share it with others. Um, thank you for the feedback. It's very, very touching. The, the video will be available from now on. It was the premiere. We wanted to, to see it together with you, but now it will be available. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you. Good night.